If you are somebody who has played MLB The Show for a while now, you know just how overpowered Caps can be. I mean, this man may not look like much now, but you get the right archetype on him and put the right equipment, this can be the best card in the game. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best equipment you should be putting on your cap. Granted, a lot of these diamond equipment can be really expensive. So for each item, I'm gonna show you a gold equipment that can be just as good on your cap. Let's hop into it. We're gonna go in order of each item based on the market. So we're gonna start out with bat. bat is super nice because you don't necessarily need to buy one. Thanks to the WBC program, there's some packs and other ways. You get bats all the time as a cosmetic. So this Team Italy pack, I'm sure you get from a pack, from you get from WC program, and it will give you plus six power and plus six contact. That right there is good enough if you don't want to spend stubs. Because the ones I'm about to show you, while they might be a little bit better, I don't know if the plus two power that you get is going to make it better to spend 40k compared to a free bat you can get from a program. But if you do want to spend extra stubs, the bat I recommend is the Chandler Jazz X Pro Hard Maple XP for 40,000 stubs. Always go with the sound now though, so you can get him for a little over 33k. That's stupid expensive, but it gives you plus 9 power and plus 7 contact. It's a really good boost to your player. In my opinion, I always go with the ones that give me the most power. So when that power added to your team is nice, but is it 35k nice compared to a free bat? I mean, this bat alone for another WBC one for create, it's only minus 3 power, which is a lot and minus one contact. So while this jazz bat is nice because it does give you the plus nine power, the plus seven contact, you do have a cheaper option too that still has benefits. And it's not these WBC ones. If you want to spend the stubs, I recommend going with the Cooperstown bat. It's half the stubs compared to the jazz one going from 33k to 15k sell now. It gives you the same plus nine power and plus five contact. So you are losing two on contact, but you're spending half the stubs. There are gold bat options too that give decent stuff plus six power, plus four contact, and all of them are really the same. Just kind of switch back and forth, vice versa, plus four power, plus six contact. So definitely recommend going diamond on this because at the very least, you can earn one of these WBC ones from the program, or I think power is the most important aspect in the game. So having that plus three power, it is really nice. Regardless, you should have a diamond bat. Next up, we got batting gloves. Batting gloves give you a plethora of different things. Some give you contact, power, batting clutch, and vision. So it does have a huge impact on your player. All four of those things play huge roles in the game. You got contact power, obviously it does a lot. Vision is super important because it matters how big your PCI is. And clutch matters a ton this year because when a guy gets on second base, all of a sudden that becomes your contact. So with this one, you really want something that gives you big time power and big time clutch. These Nike Trouts are really nice. Plus six contact, plus five power, plus five clutch, plus four vision. But it's 31K. I think a better and cheaper option is actually gonna be these Lizard Skins for 18 points. Seven, which is the contact and the power. So instead you get plus four contact plus six power. You actually get more clutch at six and then you still get plus four vision. I think out these four items, power and batting clutch are the most important. So again, plus six to each of them is going to be huge. 18K is not a ton for how much it actually gets you and how valuable they are. But if you don't want to spend that much, you can get these Tater Xanda series for 500 sell now and it still gives you plus four contact, plus three power, plus five batting clutch, which is going to be really nice and plus four vision. You're getting a lot Lot less on the power side of things, but you're still getting a really big boost across the board. Now we got fielding glove. This is going to be different depending on what position your cat plays. Fielding's going to help regardless of what position you play. Same with arm strength, but then you also have ones. This one helps with pitching attributes too. So we got pitching clutch. We got hits per nine. Very valuable if you're a pitcher. You also can do walks per nine, hits per nine. I believe stamina and K's per nine is in here too. So if you're a pitcher, it's going to be a lot different. You're going to want to give you something that gives you a lot of pitching clutch and a a lot of hits per nine. Those are the two biggest attributes for pitching. And in terms of all around glove, I really like this absolutely ridiculous. And you take a look at the glove. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's a strawberry ice cream cone. 26.5. You get plus 11 fielding. Huge boost there. Plus seven arm, plus seven accuracy. It's the least support of the group. Plus 11 Ks per nine and plus seven hits per nine. I think this glove's very valuable no matter what position you play, whether it be infield, outfield, or you are a pitcher. If you play a position, this maestro glove would also be really Really well at 22.7. You get plus 12 fielding. Big time fielding boost and you get a little bit more on pitching sides with walks per nine, stamina, hits per nine. And then this Wilson A2K is really good too with plus 13 fielding. So really big time boost there. But if you are a pitcher, I recommend going with this Rawlings Revix glove. It gives you plus 12 fielding, plus six arms. Still valuable depending on the position because fielders obviously have to field too. But it gives you plus 11 pitching clutch. As I mentioned before with batters, it's vice versa with pitching. I got 
gets on second base, your pitch and clutch becomes your hits per nine. So it is really valuable this year. Also gives you plus six hits per nine. So this is a really good glove for your pitcher just under 25k. Gold side of things, if you want to go to budget route, this Muchi Cypress is good at just over a thousand stubs. Still gives you plus seven fielding, plus five arm, and some pitching attributes. Then we have another absolutely ridiculous ice cream glove. This time it's a chocolate cup. And just under 700 stubs, it gives you plus six fielding, plus five arm, plus four pitch and clutch, plus five hits per nine. Could be good no matter what position you play. And it's only a fraction of the cost. Obviously diamonds can be a hell of a lot better, but do you want to spend eight times the amount of stubs? That's really up to you. When it comes to equipment, cleats is probably the most important one. You got a million things that give you power, that give you contact. Giving a big attribute boost to speed plays a world of difference. That's why it's definitely the most expensive equipment. All these are 30 plus K. I mean, this one gives you plus 14 speed boost. But if I had to pick one, I would go with these Nike Force Zoom Trout 7s for just under 40k. It gives you plus 12 speed, so a little bit less than the 14, but it gives you plus 12 stealing too, which is going to matter for base running, and it gives you plus 7 reaction. With the way fielding is this year, you want your guy to get good jumps, especially if he's an outfielder, so reaction time matters a ton. But honestly, I still might lean with these afterburners. They are really nice. Plus 14 speed, plus 10 steal, and you still get the plus 8 reaction time. So I'd probably go with these, but they are 45k. But a slightly cheaper but uglier option is these A6 Gold Stage Pros. They're about 7k cheaper at 37.7, but they give you the same plus 14 speed, the same plus 10 steel, and the same plus 8 reaction. The only difference is, is stamina. It's minus 2 on the stamina front, which unless you're a pitcher, that doesn't even matter. So definitely go these. Save you at least a little bit of stubs. Honestly, I think Cleats is one of the ones you should definitely go diamond with just because how valuable speed is. There's not a lot of equipment that really gives it, and it's just such a difference maker in the game. The highest one is plus 8 speed. That's minus 6 speed from the cleats that I showed you diamond wise. Yeah, they're a fraction of the cost, but that plus 6 speed means a world of a difference to your play. Well, there are plus 9 speeds too. There are some good gold options. These Hirachis would be the ones that I would consider if you did want to go gold. It still gives you plus 9 speed, plus 10 steel, plus 5 reaction. So they're not bad. Just in my opinion, if you're going to go diamond with anything, it'd be cleats. Otherwise, these Hirachis are really good too. These next couple are going to be really weird because they're completely irrelevant unless you are a catcher. We got catcher's mask. There are no gold catcher's mask. They're all diamonds, so you're spending 10 plus K, and they all give the same plus 6 blocking besides this Evo Shield one that gives you plus 8. So obviously, it's going to be twice the cost. Same with the chest protector, except it's the opposite. There are only gold options, and they either give you plus 4 or plus 5 options. They're so close in price that if you are a catcher, I would just get the plus 5 one. You're only spending like 200 more stubs. I mean, this is only relevant if you play catcher, which is probably a lot of people because it's definitely one of the caps you should be making. And then we get the leg guards, which is down to silver. So really weird. These all give you plus two blocking. Besides these last three, that give you plus three. Just go with those. Now we're on to elbow guard. Honestly, this is one you could also skip. It's completely irrelevant. You got discipline and durability is the boost for all these. I don't think it switches at all. Discipline's going to be helpful on your check swings. Durability, it's not going to matter for Diamond Dynasty. So this is really more so of just a road to your show type attribute boost. I would not spend 20k on a diamond one. I would stick with one of the golds regardless of who you are. But diamond wise, if you want to spend the stubs, just go with the one that gives you the most discipline and helps with check swings. Gold wise though, and what I personally recommend for everybody is just go with the Evo Shield. It's under 2k and it's the only one that gives you plus 5 discipline, plus 5 durability, except for these ones up here, which give you plus 1, plus 2 more but it's like 30,000 more stubs. Shin Guard only has one diamond option, but it does give an attribute boost to clutch. Durability doesn't matter. Clutch definitely does. It replaces contact with a guy in scoring position. That is 30K though. Instead, I would go with something like this Jordan one that gives you minus one clutch, but it's 30,000 less stubs. Durability doesn't matter. It's a minus one downgrade. Who cares? I told you it was going to get weird. Wrist Guard also only has one diamond option. It gives you discipline and durability. That's completely irrelevant for the most part. So we'll just go with some that gives us plus three discipline. You lose minus two on the discipline factor, but you're saving like 25,000 stubs. Dude, I'm just 
are repeating the same shit at this point. At least compression sleeve, we finally get into something that's more relevant. Diamond was, you only got one option and it's 38,000 stubs, but it gives you the plus six durability, plus five arm and plus six accuracy, which actually matters. But if you don't want to spend that much, the Nike Vapors give you the same amount of arm strength at plus five. You're losing, I think it's two, three on the accuracy. So a little bit of a hit there, but I'd rather have the arm to begin with, especially if you play short, third, or any of the outfield positions, it's valuable to have a good arm. And you're still getting the accuracy boost. It's just not nearly as high. 38,000 is just a lot in my opinion for the compression sleeve and just to get plus three on accuracy. So I don't recommend going diamond with this one. I would just stick with this Nike Vapor. We're finally getting into something that has some decision making to make. We got the back ribs. We got the Mookie Betts one, the Ultra, the Trout. We got a whole three diamond options to go from. A little bit more expensive range from 20 to 30K. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Ultra one, but the Mookie Betts and the Mike Trout one, it's literally exactly the same attribute boost across the board. Just go whatever is least expensive at the time. They're exactly the same basically right now. But whenever you go to buy it, if you do, just look and see what has the cheapest sell now and get that one. They do the same thing. Plus four contact, plus four power, plus five batting clutch, plus five vision. So just like the batting gloves, it gives you all the most important stats across the board. So I really recommend going diamond on this one. Just because of how valuable those attributes across the board actually are, I would go with diamond. You're you're getting a very big downgrade when it comes to these two. They're also the same across the board, but you're getting minus two contact power, minus two bang clutch, minus two vision, minus two's across the board. And I think for all that it gives you, contact, power, vision, contact, power, clutch, and vision are all very important attributes. I would spend the stubs on this one. Then we got the eyewear, the glasses, this one can help with vision. Discipline, accuracy, fielding, and reaction. The last two are the most important fielding and reaction time this year. Fielding is a bitch. So it's definitely important to have good fielding and good reaction so you can get jumps on those balls. I would go with these Oakley encoders if you're going the diamond route at 36K. Gives you plus six vision, plus five discipline, plus five accuracy, plus six fielding, plus five reaction. You go to even the one that below, it's minus two at vision, fielding, and reaction. So this is a good option too if you just want to save some stubs. Otherwise glasses, Oakley's the king of the glasses game. So we're gonna go with the Oakley Flex 2.0 XL at 1200 stubs. Three vision, plus two discipline, plus three accuracy, plus two feeling, plus three reaction. This is another one. I would probably go the diamond route. I just think getting the vision boost, the fielding boost, and the reaction boost is really good this year and very important. I mean, 36K is a lot for like a plus two upgrade to a few things. We're down to our last two. We got suck. Socks is important because it includes speed and steel. And diamond wise, you may have four options, but it does not matter which one you pick unless you're looking for look. They all do the same thing at plus seven speed, plus seven steel. So just go whatever the cheapest sell now is at the time of going up. Some of these, they all look relatively the same now, but sometimes there's like a one to two K difference. Save you some stubs. And then gold wise, you got two options too. This gives plus three speed, plus five steel. So this, this one, the plus four speed is huge. So diamond is very important for this one. Cause like I said, there's not a ton of things that give you the speed boost. I believe it's cleats and socks. So I think it's very important to actually upgrade those and take advantage of getting the high end equipment. And then last one, we got ritual. Ritual is fun to discuss because there is a boost for just about everything. You got a pitcher, got hits per nine durability. We got speed stealing, fielding, arm. You got durability, feel, holy shit, that's awful. There's power, contact, pitch and clutch, case per nine, home runs, walks. There's just about everything when it comes to the rituals. And in case you haven't picked up by this video, the things I value the most is definitely power, in speed if you're a hitter and then if you're a pitcher it's going to be pitching clutch and it's going to be hits per nine so some of the ones i recommend going with is the ritual legend and a cleat for 23k gives you another plus seven to speed and a plus seven to stealing so your guy could have incredible contact power and also be maxed out on the speed front deadly fucking combo and then the last two for the diamond is ritual training ball for 27k it gives you plus eight power and plus six contact at least with contact and power you can go all the way up to 125. Can't do that with speed, but the Ritual Legendary Call is a lot more expensive, but it'll give you the plus two contact. So you got plus eight power, plus eight contact, really good. So same thing with the gold front. I would go some that gives you either plus contact, power, or speed. The only thing that sucks is it's only one individual one. So the backwards one, it gives you plus five contact. This heart hat for the bat gives you plus four power, plus four fielding. It's just really like one statistic, except for 
this one, it gives you a couple. Of course, it's a jockstrap. And there's not a lot of them. So I would recommend going diamond for this one too. Yeah, it can be more expensive, but at least you're getting the attribute boost from multiple stats instead of just the one individual one. I mean, all the important ones, you just have the one to choose from. But that's my opinion of what equipment you should be using in MLB The Show 23. I'm telling you, you equip some of these guys on your cap and he will be the best player in the game right now. I'm talking like a switch hitter with close to maxed out contact power and speed with good fielding. Yeah, he's gonna be freaking disgusting. But let me know if this video helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily MLB The Show 23 content and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.